Einstein's is like when you want to go out but you don't want to dr get dressed. That's what Einstein's is there for. Like, don't wear heels to Einstein's, you know what I mean? If you wear heels to Einstein's, you better be on your way somewhere else. That's not what we're here for, you know? We are at a place like, it's not quite time to go home, but I don't really want to stay out. Let's go to Einstein's. Like, it's very organic. If you look around, everything on the walls and so on, it's all literally over the last 16 years. Everything has gone up. I know it looks like a design pub, but it really isn't. It used to be, it used to be, I don't know, just blank walls or like, Things you'd see when a pub opens for the first time, you know, you see a pub open for the first time and try to look like a pub. Yeah, but only time can make a pub. We get suits in here, we get people with money, but like, who come because they know the food's good, they know the atmosphere is really chill, we're relaxed here, it's friendly, it's not just like, you don't have to have a certain look to get in or like the right shoes. All our celebrities are famous in their own mind, really. It's not just about the social aspect. There is a certain amount of, you know, skill that goes along with it, especially those flair bartenders. Those people are crazy. I don't know how they do that. This is somewhere that I'm, I'm suited. I'm suited to, like, I can make jokes and, like, let's, I have a girlfriend now, but, like, in the past or perhaps the future, find some ladies and, you know what I mean? It's, like, it's fun. Uh, the only problem with that is like people see only the glamorous side I find. We clean up everything. Like if they puke, you gotta clean up puke. The occasional blood, the, the glass, everything. And we're here until 4.30 in the morning doing it. It's a lot of work to clean up a bar, I don't know. The bane of every bartender's existence is St. Patrick's Day. The food die, man. We, we all think it's cute and it's a fun idea when you're on the other side of the bar, but for us, and you go into the bathroom and just like, dear God, it looks radioactive, it's not, it's just not cool. It's not cool. It's the newbie drinkers who do that. Uh, well, the biggest draw probably is because we have a $10 pitcher and that's like the legal cheapest it can go. But apart from the pitcher, like all our drinks are pretty cheap. Uh, and we can make martinis, but it's just not that sort of vibe where a lot of people order them. Those can be incredibly difficult to make and you have to learn that, you know, you can't shake gin, you have to stir it or else you bruise the gin and it doesn't come out as well. Oh, it's pretty, pretty cool when you think about it like that. And the amount of times that you have to shake the, the drink so that it's cold enough and the amount of dry and vermouth and like ratios to sweet vermouth. When they do though, sometimes they've never actually ordered had a martini. No idea. Unless they're coming to just get cheapest beer we have, which is the house. But usually, I don't know, like it's like everybody else, right? You, you, you watch TV when you're young and you see college and then you try to come and you try to like have a piece of it. And by the time you realize that, uh, it kind of was made up. They'll see things on in the movies, you know, like James Bond and like Shake and Not Stirred, and they'll, t they'll be like, oh, I want a Manhattan this and that with a twist, and like they don't even know what they're talking about. So then they try and they're like, this is disgusting. It's like, yeah, like that's like the worst combo you could have gotten. Why did you order that if you didn't know how it was gonna taste? Like, you could train a monkey to do the job in terms of like the drinks and whatever, but you can't give a monkey that personality. And that's what, like, people come in, I've heard, I couldn't even believe it after a while, people come in and like, not to boost myself or ego, it, it's the same for everyone, but people come in and they want you specifically to serve them and they'll be like, you're my favorite and like, you're the best and thank you so much for the previous night. And, you made her night. We would like this to be somebody's go-to bar when they feel like they had a bad day or they just want to kick it with their friends or it's after an exam or it's between classes or you know, you know, passing through, come down for wings, why not? We're hospitable, we're like your friends, this is somewhere you're welcomed. The name pub is Public House, Ireland, England, whatever, and it's like rich, poor, doesn't matter, like this is a place you can come in the true sense of the word and like everyone's here for the same reason to have some friends to socialize
forget about their troubles when we're out. 